like i get so mad at this when youtubers literally fucking sit around okay and they make one fucking video Oh, what's that? I said calm down and shut the f Oh, up. God, this was such a bad point by a son. Dude, a, a single, like, 15, 20-minute video is going to be hours and hours and hours of work. To just, to try to compare, like, 10 hours of streaming. Like, streaming is nice because it's incredibly low effort content. Generally, depending on what you're doing. Some streaming is high effort content. Like, what we're doing right now is incredibly low effort content. Debates, I would say, are, like, higher level content. Um, take your higher effort content. It takes more preparation, set up time, coordination with other people, um, et cetera. Um, but, like... 10 to 20 minute YouTube video can be a lot of work. Now, that's not the quartering. Most of the quarterings videos are just him talking to a camera, complaining about women. What's the problem? They make one fing video a month and get like Patreon money, or they make like two fing videos a week, and then they cash out with like a six figure check because they have a, a sea of simps. Go f yourself. That shit has nothing to do with me. All right? I run a legitimate business here. This shit genuinely tilts me, dude. It genuinely tilts me. You could make a compilation of me sitting around, not even on camera, with a video playing in the background. When you're live for 13 hours a fucking day, of course there's gonna be fucking dead space. In no, 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 dead air in shut up! Shut the f You have no oh. right to take me Shut to up! Will you shut up! Shut up! Shut, 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 shut up! Shut up! What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and this is the dumbest debate of all time. Literally two people working their dream jobs, not everyone's dream job, but two categories of people working their dream jobs, arguing over which one is more difficult. Uh, that was a paraphrase of a tweet from Nicholas Oreo, but it's essentially exactly what's happening. Over the past week or two, the queen bee of Twitch, Pokimane, has been under fire for significant uh, transgressions in her past. Some of the criticism warranted some of the criticism uh probably crossing the line a little bit and getting into kind of personal attacks and things like that which is you know admittedly not okay there are different styles for different people uh to get their criticism across but you know i don't know i mean it makes for good tv i suppose but that is not even necessarily the interesting part uh, to me it's all these clips of streamers having total meltdowns when getting called out on the fact that their job is really not that difficult. Look, there is time that goes into streaming. There is time that goes into making YouTube videos. There are also levels to this, right? You got a guy like Destiny who sits there all day long uh, and just talks to his chat versus a guy like Dr. Disrespect. Now, I'm not saying one is better than the other, but Dr. Disrespect is way better, obviously. Uh, the level of work and production value he puts into it is is uh, it's, it's it's almost more than any YouTuber would put in on any YouTube. I don't actually know. Um, this is an interesting one. Dr. Disrespect's quote-unquote production value is kind of high, but also not really. Um, you have the one-time initial investment in terms of like setting up all of the like graphics and everything but past that it's basically just switching scenes and playing video games like that's it um like my like i have all of my dnd stuff or whatever that i got for like tombs of scoria like it took some time to get the artwork and everything but now it's done i just push the button go to the next scene the stinger plays automatically the music is automatically queued up like it's not like there's a ton of you know youtube video uh although he does all of most of his editing live uh on the fly all right so yes there are youtubers like myself for example it doesn't take forever for me to do uh, a bunch of research. I, I you know, the, the, the hardest part of my job is figuring out which topic is going to be interesting to my viewers every day. And then doing that five or six times a day, six days a week. Um, but the actual shooting of the video and editing it is easy peasy. I've got an editor that, that tries to inject some exciting, you know, memes here and there with intros. But overall, I'm not complaining. The idea that anyone would complain is absurd. Now, on the other side of that, obviously, it is still a job. People that say, oh, YouTube is not a job or Twitch isn't a job, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, I put in as many hours as just anyone else on Twi on YouTube, and Twitch streamers can be you know live for hundreds of hours a month, especially in the beginning, making almost no money whatsoever. But these these select few meltdowns are like legendary status. Guys like Destiny and Hassan, who literally said America deserved 9-11.
These guys. What does that have to do with anything? Chunk Uger's little nephew, protege. So, I mean, the, 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 the clips are mind boggling. Not Leafy. He's a fucking YouTuber. YouTubers don't need breaks. They make like one YouTube video a week and they're like, oh, I, I, my mental health needs me to take more breaks. I'm so stressed. It's a fucking YouTube video. It's 10 minutes long. Oh man, this is doing? so ignorant. Uh, I live like 200 hours a month. Uh, like, get a load of this idiot. He, 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 he literally thinks because he's a streamer and he doesn't actually edit anything ever that a 10 minute YouTube video takes exactly 10 minutes to do. Uh, ne you know, never mind. Perhaps in let's say Nerd City as an example, hours and hours and hours of of, of research or internet historian. Forget that. Forget all of that. Forget all of their editing. Forget all of the audio mixing. Forget Ludwig started on YouTube. D I don't care. I don't care what Ludwig did. Don't give a fuck. The comment is still dumb. The transitions. Forget the the vo extra recast, re reshoots, voiceovers, all that stuff. You know, doing custom graphics for the thumbnail. I know Twitch people don't understand this, but thumbnails are a thing that people have to do. You know, it's it's just a ten minute video. What are you complaining about? What are you complaining about? You're just you're just it's so easy being a YouTuber. Uh, he's out here two hundred hours a month sitting in front of a microphone doing nothing. I mean, again, I'm not I think both sides of this argument is stupid, but I don't see any YouTubers out here whining and having mental breakdowns over how hard, how much harder they work than Twitch streamers. It's the Twitch streamers that are doing it. Didn't that Bo Black Scott I feel like YouTubers have meltdowns literally every single fucking like year. There's some new thing with like, oh, are the pri the bell, you have to click the bell to notify. Oh, the adpocalypse. Oh no, they're changing the way the algorithm works. I feel like you hear that. E Dude, every content, people on Instagram crap this. Oh no, they're changing the way tags work. Oh no, they're gonna hide light. Oh no, like dude, every content creator across every online platform complains about everything every fucking year. It happens all the fucking time, okay? Destiny, this might be a hot take, but time of video editing, does this video require, it's literally right what you want to say? No, shut, RTB, I, okay, I think I explicitly said this, I'll say it again, the quartering does not do, like, high quality editing content, okay? This guy's videos, like, if I had to guess, this 12-minute video that he does here, probably collectively, takes about an hour of work, if that, that would be my guess, if that, probably less. His stuff is not taking, like, a fuck ton of work, okay? He's incredibly low, low effort, but, it, like, if you were to compare this to, like, um, like a Seth video. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Like, his 10-minute videos? Like to collect and gather all the footage throughout the game, like, like including some of the gameplay time, editing everything together, and starting the memes and everything. Amazingly if I had to guess, I would say that, like, this 10-minute video, I would say probably takes upwards of, like, any, any, it could be anywhere from 10 to 40 hours of time, maybe. 40 on the very high end. Closer to ten, probably, but I would like guess like a around that, um, depending on how on, on how unique the meme footage is in here or whatever. Um, if it's just pictures, obviously that's less. If he's doing custom stuff, it's more. And then depending on how long it takes to play through the game and get the shots, could be more, could be less. But like, yeah. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Or that, um, uh, that is it. Internet historian. What did we watch? It was called the Varus. This thing. Infrastructure. Like a 20 minute video like this, this thing is probably upwards of like, I would I would guess at the like 20, 20 plus hours would, would be my guess for like a 20 minute video like this. But like something like what the quartering does is very, 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 very low. Not months, shut the fuck up. Ludwig and Assange comments in that corner video. We're specifically responding to low effort video. Channel's not high effort, highly edited and scripted YouTube content. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess we don't care to explain why what Hassan said was so stupid this time. Ludwig's and because Hassan's comments and that the quartering video were specifically responding to the low effort video channels. No! Wait, what? So the farmers began. Wait, link that the quartering video again. Oh god, this guy puts out like seven fucking videos a day. He's basically a live streamer on fucking YouTube. Bo Black Sky. 
three. One is better than the other. Oh, right. That shit has nothing to do with me. Calm down and shut the f up. What's the problem? They make one f***ing video a month and get like Patreon money or they make like two f***ing videos a week. I feel like Hassan said this on the Raj on the Austin Royale. Didn't we listen to this? Wasn't he talking about it there? Because I feel like I've heard him make these comments before and I'm pretty sure I even said when I was listening to like, oh, I don't know if that's... I don't, yeah, Ludwig didn't. Ludwig? Is it just Ludwig? Do we call him Ludwig? What do we call him? iDubs content cops are way more involved than leafy shit ass like here's three random clips isn't 